peer-to-peer -peer releasing is a very powerful way to both help yourself and help those you care about. And all it is simply is you working with another person with releasing, and then they work with you as well. It's a releasing partnership. And when you work as with a peer or in a releasing partnership, it really accelerates both of your progress. And so there's just some very simple guidelines that you can follow that will really help this go smoothly for you. First off, just do your best to be there with and for your partner, granting them their own experience, granting them their own beingness. The more you can get yourself out of the way when you're asking the releasing questions, the more you'll get, you'll get out of it and the more they'll get out of it. Plus, if you allow them to be there for and with you, and allow them to be of support to you, that also is a stretch for many of us. So you'll be stretching yourself in many ways. And when you get yourself out of the way to help another person, from that you learn, from that you open, from that you transform. It is very powerful. That is why I've been doing this work for so long and why I'm so in love with it. It's because for almost 40 years, I've been spending part of every year, a good part of every year, helping others. And that really is exquisitely wonderful. And I really would like everyone to be able to share that. That's why we're encouraging people to do peer-to-peer -peer releasing. The other thing you'll find helpful is that if you allow yourself to let go when you're asking someone else to let go, it deepens the experience for both of you. In fact, sometimes in partnerships, you'll get more out of asking the questions than when they ask you. Not always, but sometimes. And that doesn't mean you have to be thinking about your own situation when you're doing this. In fact, it's better if you don't. When you're asking them the questions, just ask them the questions. And also allow yourself to pace to a speed that works for them. If they want you to go slower or faster, just allow that. And let them do the same thing for, for you. The other thing is, if you're a counselor, or a coach, a therapist, please bring this into your practice. You'll find it incredibly helpful to bring releasing into everything you do. And on the other hand, if you're doing this just with a friend or a relative, try to put aside what you know and keep discussions in general to a minimum until after you're done. The more you just stay with the process, the more you'll both get out of it. And remember, they ask you, you ask them, they ask you, you ask them, and you just keep going deeper. Now, sometimes what you might find is you might want to ask your partner the, the questions a few times in a row and let them ask you the questions a few times in a row. You'll see which is most appropriate. Also, if someone ever brings up a medical problem or a psychological problem while you're releasing with them, remember, even if you are a counselor, a coach, or a doctor, make sure that they're getting the help they need. That you're not, the releasing work you're doing with them is not to supplant whatever their health practitioner is recommending. The Sedona method is not designed to treat, diagnose, cure, or even advise about any kind of physical or emotional illness. It can certainly help with healing and does, but it's not a substitute. So please share releasing with everyone you know. Allow yourself to get into releasing with other people. You can do it in your mosque, your temple, your synagogue, your church. You can do it with friends, with relatives. You can do it anywhere, anytime. You can do it with yourself. And, and please start doing this with others. It will help you both. And this will help bring about a positive shift on the whole planet, starting with you and starting with those you care about. Thanks for listening.